My name is Art Ashkin. I'm a physicist, and my field of interest is, uh, well, I guess I was in a department called physical optics, so that sort of covers it. Optics and physics together. I got involved in optics uh, uh, first by, by working on uh, microwaves, which is a form of optics. It's uh, light waves at a low frequency, but then after the invention of the laser, most people, especially at Bell Labs who were interested in communications, uh, switched to uh, optics. So I was part of that process. I recall I going to meetings quite early in my career, but actually um, one of the big turns of my career took place as a result of a meeting that I went to in, in optics. I can't even tell you where it was, but anyway, I heard a talk that uh, really stimulated me to do things that I've continued to do for the rest of my uh, professional uh, life. So that was a very important for me. It was it an OSA? I went to uh, an OS. I even don't know the guy's name. Uh, his name was Eric Rawson from Toronto. And he gave a very interesting talk that uh, stimulated me to do a lot of subsequent work. I'm giving a talk. <laughs> well, this, this is my uh, life's work. It has to do with uh, radiation pressure, the pressure of light. If I'll give you a little lecture, when light shines on you, it pushes on you. Everybody knows that this light has heat, the sun is hot. But the fact is the sun pushes on you. And with lasers, if you focus the light down to very small spots, you can actually push things or pull, it turns out. Push, pull, make optical, what they call optical traps. So I am the inventor of the optical trap. And it sort of started in that very strange way, just by accident. That wasn't my first contact with light pressure. Uh, I was alerted to that problem when I was, oh, uh, that was during World War II. I worked on microwaves and uh, high power microwaves for radar. Okay, and I was in the radar program and we had magnetrons that pushed, put out high power, and so I was aware of the subject, but it took, it was only years later after I saw, the, heard that talk at the Optical Society that I got started on uh, light pressure work. One of the things that always impressed me about the OSA and the field of optics is that, uh, uh, you know, they had things like the, um, the uh, courses, the short courses that they have. I took a lot of those courses, really in-depth courses, a couple of hours, a whole morning, and uh, it taught me a lot. For one reason, for one thing, I, I should tell you, I worked all my life in optics, but I never took a course in optics in college. Not even in graduate school. I mean, I studied electromagnetic theory, which you might say is optics, but uh, it wasn't the real nuts and bolts of optics. And I learned that uh, uh, on my own a lot through these courses. I took some very nice courses.